Hello and welcome to MB Tech. This time we're going to be installing a monitoring solution called Zavix. Um, it has been around for quite a while, um, actually I think 20 something years. Um, so what we need to do is uh, install that from, uh, not really source, but from RPMs. And uh, we'll go through that by going through the installation that they have on their website. We're going to have to do some modifications to this just to make sure that we have the proper uh, like PHP versions for the front end web. Um, as well as the proper database um, backend. Uh, it can be used with multiple ones, but we're going to actually be using the uh, MySQL, or also known as Myriad, MariaDB. Um, so we'll be getting that set up on the system as well. So first thing, we need to go to the download page. Um, from here, it's kind of nice. I've actually got a... Uh, we're going to do install from packages. And it says choose your uh, platform. We're going to go the 5.0 LTS, CentOS 7, um, CentOS, and then version 7. Type of database, we're going to use uh, MySQL. And then for a web server, um, you can use the patch your Nginx. Um, this one, we're actually going to use the Nginx uh, one for this. Uh, so here it goes into our um, setting up the repository. So we need to do this uh, in order to uh, install this system. Uh, so we will do this RPM right here. Copy that. Uh, this is our local box, just to make sure it should be the latest and greatest. Uh, 7.8, and we'll just do a quick yum repo list. Um, so we've got base extras and updates. Um, so we will uh, add this in. Do another yum repo this real quick, and we can see now that we've got the Zabbix uh, repos in here, um, as well as the uh, base and the other ones as well. Um, so that looks good so far. Um, what we need to do is it wants us to run a yum clean all, so we will do that. And it looks like it has cleared that up. Um, now that we've got the uh, yum repos updated there, the next thing we're going to do is actually install the uh, MariaDB. Um, so from that, we're going to... Okay, next we need to install the database. Uh, now the database is installed, we need to enable it. After we've enabled it, uh, let's see if we can log in. Okay, we will log in. That's out of here. And we're back up the top. So we've got the uh, MyriadDB installed. The next thing what we need to install is PHP. Now the PHP version that comes with CentOS 7 is an older version. We need um, a version of 7.2 or greater. Um, so what we need to do is we're going to have to actually install the uh, software collection library it's called. Uh, so once we get that software collection library installed we can uh, kind of tell it what version of PHP we want to run. So it's yum install CentOS release SCL. Okay, now we need to make sure that our PHP is the right version, the 7.2. Um, so we will need to actually edit the uh, repos to make sure that they're enabled. VI, repos have its repo. And then we need to enable the front end. Change that to a 1. Okay, once that file has been uh, enabled, then we can actually, uh, next we'll install the Zabbix server, MySQL, and Zabbix agent. Okay, 
right, now it's time to install the Zavix front end packages. Okay, next we're going to log into the MySQL database. And now we're going to create the database as well as a user called Zavix and also the privileges for the uh, database. Next we need to import the database and schema. This will take a little bit of time. All right, looks like that has completed. Uh, one thing we can do really quick, if you want, we can go in here and uh, we should be able to go into our MySQL. And here we can also do a quick uh, show database. And we can see we got the Zabbix, um, so we can also uh, change that. So we're connected to the Zabbix database, and then we can also do show tables. And we can see that it created all the tables. This is just to verify. So our database has been created. Um, that looks good. Next is uh, we imported it, so that looks good. Now we need to edit the file, this uh, Etsy Zavis, uh config file. Okay, next we need to change this uh, parameter in the Zavix server comp file. And next we now need to configure the PHP for the Zavix front end. Next we need to edit the front end. Okay, and then next, this Etsy file here. Next, we want to enable that and restart. So now we should be able to go to the IP address.
and now we're at the Zabbix uh, welcome so we need to make sure we're all set and everything's good to go on this uh, next step doing a prerequisite check looks like everything is coming up okay here uh, no issues uh, next step configure the database will be the default uh, password here will be our database password Um, this is the um, port of the Zap server as well as the host installation is optional. Call this Bing Lab Monitoring. And we can verify everything here. Our next step. And congratulations, you've successfully installed Zavix front end. And click finish. Okay, once we get here, it's admin. It is case sensitive, so remember that. And password is Zabbix. And that is it for the installation of the server. Um, I'll go over. Uh, installing a client and stuff like that in a later video. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, thank you for subscribing.